Hello and welcome to the Harriet Muller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today I've had a request from Lottie to draw a swallow, so this is the drawing we're going to be producing. Get yourself some plain white paper. We need a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. And if you'd like to colour in your swallow, you can use your choice of colouring pencils. I've just used a few. I've got um, a burnt ochre, which is nice reddish brown, a raw sienna, which is kind of like a, a murky yellow and a black. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link just here. So let's get started. We're going to start off nice and simply with a diagonal line. It doesn't have to be that straight, so I'm just going to draw it freehand. Don't press too hard. I'm just pressing a little bit harder so that you can see it on camera. Now we're going to be doing a torpedo shape. So I'll just show you what I mean by that. So one curved line on the top and one curved line on the bottom. Remember if I go too quickly just pause and rewind. Now we're going to be doing two curved lines. So looking at this line we're going to kind of cut it into thirds. So in the right hand third we're going to draw a curved line like this. The left hand third we're going to draw another curved line. It's not that accurate as you could probably see. <laughs> so don't worry about being accurate. Just keep drawing that is the main thing you've showed up today so let's finish this tutorial. Now you're going to join up these two lines. So a line going up like that and we're going to join up these two. A line going joining those two up. So now we're going to do two different triangles, one at the top. This is going to be the wing. Can you see it's taking shape? Okay. And then we're going to draw the other wing coming down. So there's another triangle, just like this. Can you see it? So we've got the body there. We've got the two wings. All that we need now is the tail, which is what we're going to do now. So one line, coming up at an angle and then another line going down at an angle. Now the famous swallow tail. So that's created just by doing a curved line in between the two. Last but not least, we're going to add in the eye. And that is the end of stage one. Okay, so in stage two, we're just going to make this look a little bit more realistic. So again, in pencil, just bring the head area just slightly out. And then there's more of a curved line as it hits the wing. And then a much more curved line here. Okay, the wing's not going to go straight like the triangle that I did before. It's going to be slightly curved. So bring it round. A nice curved shape. We're also going to improve this line because again, it's not straight. It's going to be curved, as you can probably guess, coming down. Okay, we're going to do the same for this bottom wing here. So we're going to make it nice and curved. And then we're just going to come out and join up at the same point at the tip of the wing. Again, we're going to do it curved and join it up here. Okay, so now I'm going to erase just the guidelines just so that we can see this more clearly. Okay, I'm going to erase them properly when we go over it in pen. But for the time being, we're just going to draw a little wiggly line just coming down where this line was and now we're going to be drawing another kind of wiggly line so coming in like that three kind of um, wiggles let's call them and then just bring it down till you hit the body we're going to do a similar thing on the bottom side so and then three just here. Okay, now we're going to draw the feathers. So 
up here okay, to draw a curved line so that's the top feather and then the other ones are going to just we're not going to see all of the feather just one side of it so just draw a series of lines coming down depicting all the different feathers these are quite large these feathers now when you get to here the feathers become a little bit smaller and closer together so just draw them smaller and closer together if you've got this far you are doing so well you really are and remember the more tutorials you do the better you'll get at drawing even if you don't like what you do at first just keep going i promise you you will get better over time now i'm continuing these with these little feathers that are fairly close together okay and now they get slightly bigger so we're going to actually start from this end so that's your first one and then the other ones go like this just like so okay now we're going to tackle the tail so hope you can see this i'll try and keep the pencil out of the way so the first feather is a long shape like that so we'll do them on either side and we'll go back and we'll do the feathers in between so they follow this kind of curved line in the middle just a series of little feathers just like that okay i think it's time to rub out some more of these guidelines Alrighty, so I'm just going to pencil in what I did before, just there. Okay, now we come to the head. So here, just draw a little beak. Got lovely little beaks. And then bring it down. And just bring it round. Add a few feathers at the end. And up. Okay. Now we're just going to draw in the little feet, which you can't really see very clearly. Just little feet tucked in like that. Okay, now I just need to add in the eye. So there's an eye here. Leave a little space white so that it shows a reflection of the light. And then we're going to do this marking that shows that it's a swallow. So it goes down, up and down as if it's wearing a mask. Okay, so that's the end of stage two. Now I'm going to go over everything that we've done in pen and I'll speed up the process. Okay, so I've erased all the markings. The only marking that I added was this line and these two lines, just to give it a little bit more shape. Um, as you can see, I was a little bit impatient when I was erasing out all the pencil lines and I've smudged the eye, but never mind. we're going to go over it in some color and hopefully hide it. That is my theory. So get yourself some coloring pencils or something to color in. Um, I'm just using a variety of these pencils, all different shades of brown. I've got a black there and kind of quite a light color there, a raw sienna it's called, and kind of a reddish brown called burnt ochre. Now you don't really need all these colors. You can just suffice with a kind of a reddish color and a brown and a yellow. So I'm gonna go over the whole thing in this lighter color. So just lightly, I'm just going to go over the whole thing. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to use this burnt ochre, the kind of reddish brown that I was talking about just for underneath the head here. So I'm going to press a little bit harder actually with this one. Try it and always colour in in the same direction. So I'm going to act diagonally, sorry. So I'm using lots of little circles all diagonally. 
Okie dokie. So now I'm going to be using a brown and I'm going to go over all the darker areas in the brown. There we go, we've covered up my mistake. Ha ha, yes, I got away with it, I hope. <laughs> so just adding, oh sorry, that's all my coloring pencils rolling off the table. Now here in the tail, it's got kind of a stripe of um, much lighter color. So the stripe goes vertically. Can you see that? I'm just gonna color in a little bit down the bottom here and the feet and on the belly, just the areas in shadow. Now remember the secret to using colouring pencils is to do layer upon layer, so just keep on going, building up more and more, start off really, really lightly and just build it up gradually. So this bit here is all in shadow, so we're going to go over that in a darker brown as well. And don't forget the beak. Okay, so I've got a different brown, I'm just going to quickly go over it again. do the tail again. So we're just getting darker and darker, going over many of the same areas again, but just adding another layer. Okay, now we're getting darker even still. I'm going to be using this black, so this is particularly for the little mask on the head. Can you see that? And the beak. I'll try not to cover it with my hand. There we go. See that? Okay, we're going to make the wings or the feathers slightly darker. So particularly dark here in the shadow. So I'm pressing a little bit harder just underneath here. And then I'm going to press much lighter now. I'm not actually, oh dear, I made a huge boo-boo. All right, eraser time. That's the great thing about colouring pencils, you can just erase it. Nobody will even know that I did it, apart from you guys, obviously. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Just a little bit more underneath here. Just like that, it's really taking shape now, isn't it? We're just going to do a little bit more up here. Trying to colour in without my hand covering it so that you can see. Now if you can see, I'm actually only doing the tips of these feathers, I'm not doing the whole entire feather. And then I'm just going to do this little kind of, I presume it's like the shoulder area. Okay, and then last but not least, the tail. I'm going to accentuate this kind of stripe. And the feet. I'm just going to go over the lower part of the body just once more, but in this black. There we go. Okay, you could either do the sky blue if you like. Um, and that's our finished swallow. I do hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for your request, Lottie. Um, if you've got any more requests, please pop them in the comment section down below. And I do hope to see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like if you've enjoyed this. Thank you and bye-bye.